Hey folks, in this short video, we're going to divide polynomials with a box and specifically we're going to do problems with the remainder. So I'm ho hopefully you watched my other video and you already have a basic understanding of how to divide with a box. And, and this type of problem with the remainder is going to start the same way because obviously when you start, you don't know if there's going to be a remainder or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, divisor out here on the side. So if I'm dividing by y minus 5, I'm going to place y minus 5 there on the side. And then I'm going to place my dividend inside here with the quadratic term taking the place of this top left box. So if I do y squared divided by y, that gives me y. And then y times negative 5 is negative 5y. And then we know that those two terms will combine to make 2y. So if they combine to make a positive 2y, then this must be a 7y right here. And so if that's a 7y, 7y divided by y gives you 7. And 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. Now, here is where the remainder comes in. As you can see, if you were to multiply y plus 7 times y minus 5, you don't get the trinomial that you started with. You don't get the product we're looking for. So it's almost like we just continue our process. If I have a negative 35, imagine there's another box right here. What does that need to be in order to combine to make that negative 36? And you're probably thinking, oh, that's a negative 1. That negative 1 is your remainder. So you could say that um, the, the quotient here is y plus 7 with a remainder of, of negative 1, excuse me, and sometimes you'll see it written like that, but other times you'll see it written as a fraction and negative 1 over um, y minus 5. That would be your answer. Now, this is the only other example in this video. I encourage you to pause the video, try this one on your own, and then hit play to see if you got it right. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to take my divisor and I'm going to put it over here on the left. You could put it on top. This process will work the exact same way. And I'm going to take that quadratic term of k squared and place it in that top left box k squared divided by k is k, k times 4 is 4k, and then we know that these two boxes right here need to combine to make 7k, therefore that box must be a 3k right there. Then 3k divided by k gives us 3, and then 3 times 4 gives us 12. Once again, we get a 12 there. We don't get the 7 that we're looking for. So we know that this k plus 4 doesn't divide evenly into this polynomial. There must be a remainder. And so we think, okay, well, if we kept going, what would be right here if we extended our box that would make it add up to 7? Well, 12 plus negative 5 would give us that 7. So whenever I'm writing my quotient here, I could say this equals k plus 3 with a remainder of 5 or I could say k plus 3 and write as a fraction with 5 over k plus 4. And that is how you divide polynomials with a box when you have a remainder.